We'll tinker with the mower a bit today. It's late afternoon. We just go back in town. I think I need to take this grill off. I'm going to take another right bolt. I already have my butt kicked for not buying one of these DeWalt impact guns a long time ago. It sure beats the snot out of digging for a ratchet all the time. Well, we got the grill off. Oh. There we go. That way I won't have to look for my bolts when it comes time to put it back together. We'll look underneath the engine in a little while and see what size bolt has to come out to lift the engine off. But I don't have to just make them up where I can see that. I'm gonna go right with it. We're gonna undo some wires and some fuel lines and some linkages. It might be us to disconnect the battery. Wouldn't want anything to get shorted out and start a fire. Battery's probably dead anyway. What is that? As rusty as it is, it's a pair of pliers. Let's unhook the starter. Okay, there's the only wires I see. I think I figure how that plug works. Get up in there closer. Not really enough room for your hand. It'd be so simple as just give it a pull. Hope you don't break your fingers. I'd have a whole lot more room if I took that starter off. I can see me busting my hand open now.
and I took my screwdriver and pried up on that little notch right here on the cable. I, oh, that popped right off. Now all I got is four bolts under there and we can lift that motor right off the lawnmower. Ah, uh, we can try to lift it off. Might have to get the old lady to come help me lift it off. No. I could pick that booger bear up. Let's look under the lawnmower and see what size bolts we need to unbolt the bottom of the motor. I just reached in the toolbox and grabbed a handful of stuff. Hopefully, I got the right ingredients here to take that engine off. Why would you do a dumb thing like that? Well, because you don't want to get down on the cement more than once. If I can get all these bolts off on the first go round, save me from squatting down here in the cement for a while. I got my gun, got my socket. Let's just look under there and figure out what size it is. It looked like it might be a 9 16th from what I could see looking at it. So just for kicks. Let's take one with us. I'm probably wrong. Watch it be a 5 8. Take that with us too. It might be a metric. Six inches too big. It's gonna be a half inch. Vertigo is getting me. I might be able to use one of these little nut drivers. What size are they? Didn't wear my glasses out here today. That says half inch. Take a big metric with us too. One of them booger bears is bound to fit it. So let's just take the gun with us as well. That's definitely too small. That's too small. Gotta be one of them or none. that one. Well folks, pretty soon I'm going to be seeing if I can lift this engine. I have to be careful my GoPro don't slide off my head and break. Y'all sliding off my head. Oh, a washer came with that one. I didn't notice washers on the other ones. Y'all quit trying to fall off my head. There must have been a washer with them. I didn't see it though. Unless it's still stuck up on there. One more to go. I think one more. I don't see anything else I do. Let's get up and try it. Why would one have a Star Wars here and none of the others?
only one boat has a star watcher. I didn't drop any on the ground. That's pretty crappy of the dang factory to do that to people. Let's go back under there and look. It's something. It's always something you didn't think of. I thought there might be extra holes. But we can see where the bolts were. Nope, there's no Star Watchers on there. That's about a one inch shaft. I need to get it off, we'll measure the length and the size. And James, if James has to get a new motor, we'll have to get one that's got the same size shaft and the same hole pattern. I can measure them on the hole, on the mower. But you see, there's lots of other holes here too. So this mower was probably designed for more than one different kind of motor. Depended on what company's using the frame. Let's get up and see if we can lift the motor. As soon as the room quits spinning around. They don't look too bad. Let's get over there where we can get some good footing and just lift that cotton picker right off. We're going right up here with it. Where did the oil come from? I wonder if that plug is broke. Oh, there's a hole right there. There's a hole right in the bottom of the motor. Let me give you all a closer look. Some of you lawnmower experts out there need to tell me. Tell me why there's a hole right there. This is a wide blade screwdriver. It will almost fit in there. Could something hit the bottom of the motor? It looks like a chunk of metal came out with it. It had to be done from the inside. If I knew for a fact there's no metal or anything in the way in there, we would just experiment with some plastic compound, some JB Weld or something, plug that hole up and fill it with oil and see if it would run. There's gotta be a reason why that thing's got a hole right there. Somebody tell me why this Kohler Courage has got a hole in the bottom of it. That would whack the tar out of the engine right there. Anybody else there ever seen this before? See, here's the lower oil seal right here. 
and that's what we thought was leaking and I'm not saying it's not leaking but it don't look all that bad to me I looked online I know James has looked at engines too and Kohler has made a new engine that replaces this, this Kohler Courage, whatever it is, whatever it is, I believe it's Kohler Courage. They've made a new engine to replace it called the Kohler 5400. And my question to my viewers, especially my lawnmower enthusiasts, if I put a 5400 on there, would I have any trouble with the wiring arrangements? Or the throttle cable to going back. James didn't take any consideration on this engine. It's an air cooled engine. When you got that much crud on there, it's going to run hotter. So from time to time, uh, James, you need to wash your lawnmower better. Uh, not while the engine's hot, though. Let it cool off and take your power sprayer and wash it off. Keep her clean. Do we repair the engine? Fill it up with oil? See if there's any hairline cracks. Oh yeah, that is sticking down. That piece there is. Something whacked it real hard from the inside. I just answered my own question. Well, James, I think I'm going to tell you, you need a new engine. What do you say, viewers? He needs a new engine? I appreciate y'all tuning in today, this little short video. Um, the engine for this thing goes about 900. I saw a 20 horsepower at Harbor Freight the other day for 600. Brand new. It wasn't a Kohler, but I'm wondering, won't it work? Anybody know if Harbor Freight's 20 horsepower engine will fit on there? Need to measure them holes and see how far apart they are. How many of my viewers have heard that old tune? My bucket's got a hole in it, and I don't care. Well, I got a new tune for you. This one is called My Lawnmower Engine's Got a Hole in It. And I don't know where. Well, I do know where. Right on the bottom. You couldn't see it when it was mounted to the lawnmower. And it's right there. 